Hey everybody and welcome back to Mission Control for a feature focus video. In this video we're going to talk about custom camera positions in the quad view in Capture. The internal Capture Visualizer allows you to save custom camera positions as well as put them in the quad view. Additionally, you can save different camera views slash quad view configurations to a workspace for quick recall. You can use the wheels, mouse, or touch screen to position the camera in the visualizer. To position and save the custom camera position, open the Capture Settings window, press open slash view, they will open on some consoles, view on others, and then click Capture Settings. In the Capture Settings window, choose the Camera tab. The three sections are as follows. The first one moves the camera forward and back, left and right. The center moves the camera up and down. The third orbits the camera around the center of the view or rotates the camera around its center. Clicking on one of these panes will also assign that movement to the wheels. At the position of the camera, click the plus button in the settings window. Then on soft key A, set the legend of the saved position. To repeat this as many times as you wish. I tested as high as 64 of them before I got bored. In the context menu, you can control the camera, move fixtures, enable the quad view, and select camera positions. Remember that our context menu is going to be on the four lines button on the window on Titan Go, Sapphire Touch, and the D9s. On other consoles, it's just going to be the left of soft keys B, C, and D uh, on our screen there. After setting the camera and or quad view you want, you can then save a workspace with that configuration by clicking into any of the workspace win window areas, the workspace windows, or on the side of the external screens. You can see our video on workspaces to learn more. The link will be in the description. In our context menu, we can see the following. We can either open the settings or the visualizer window. We can enable and disable the quad view. We can select which pane of the quad view we want to edit. We can open the camera move menu or the camera's position menu. We can also set to control our fixtures on the wheel by setting its position and its orientation, set it to scale fan, or the rotation. If we open the camera move menu, we'll see this. We would able to enable and disable the quad view again. We can select which pane. We can set the camera to move on the wheels, or rotate the camera with the wheels, or orbit the camera with the wheels. If we open the Positions menu, we can again enable and disable our quad view view, select which pane. Uh, we can set the stock left side view, the top down view, the front view, which is the default, or the right side view. And then if we have any custom ones, we can see them there with their name. I named that one custom. And if I have more than three, I can use, I will see previous and next buttons to uh, select the more of them. So let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 16 of Titan on the Titan Go non-virtual hardware interface. And we're using this today just to have more screen real estate to show uh, everything in our console a little bit better here. So if we were to double tap our open slash view key and then go ahead and open up capture settings. And we see here we're already on our camera tab. And we have uh, our stock positions here. We can go to the right, the top down, the front, or the side. And then here we can uh, click in here and do with our mouse or our finger to the forward and back and left and right, or up and down. Or we can orbit around the center or click rotate here and rotate around the center of the camera. And also if we just click on here, we can see that it sets it to our wheels. So we can use our wheels on our console to set our positions left and right, up and down, as well as zoom in. Or if we click on our rotate pane, we can then set our we can rotate it around the center, left and right, up and down, and the Z orientation doesn't really do much for us here. Or if we then if we hit exit and then change it to rotation and click back in here, we can now control the rotation around the center of our camera rather than the center of the uh, view. So let's say we'll just go ahead and find a, a look that we like here. This is orbit around our... So then we'll do this, we'll bring it up a little bit and do that and we'll zoom in a little bit. And say this is the view that we like, we can go and click our plus button here. And our soft keys, we can give it a name. I'll do this SL angle and press enter and see that we now have an SL angle and I'll go ahead and go ahead and rotate to the other side and set it up and we'll do this one as an SR 
and go and press enter and we'll go ahead and square it up again and we'll come down and look down on it from the top and we'll move it over a little bit and maybe more about like this it's being a little fady at the moment but we'll set it to be top ish is what we'll call that one and uh, let's do oh we'll do it from the back side and we'll take our camera up and about like that I think that'll work well and we'll call that back so we'll use those four just to start with so if I go ahead and on my uh, context menu here, I go ahead and click Cloud Mode Enabled. I also have the same button on the Four Lines button here. If I needed to use it, I can see it there. And you'll see that I now have uh, four views. So it's set to the first one here. So I can either uh, click on the Move Camera and then click on the Move Camera here. And I can again move my camera with my wheels. And since I'm controlling that top left pane, you can see that it controls that one. Or I can have it rotate the camera with my wheels or orbit the camera. Or if I hit exit once, I can go back to the, I can go to positions and I can choose from the existing ones. I can have this one be the standard front view and I'll change to this pane and I'll make it uh, our SL angle. And then I'll choose switch to this pane and I'll hit next here and I'll choose my SR angle and then I'll hit exit once and change to my last pane and go to my positions and we'll set this one to be our oh we'll go to the top-ish one here and then hit exit once we'd also change them by selecting here if we wanted to if we had our settings window open So let's say that uh, this is a configuration that I like. So I'll go ahead and close my settings and then I'll open up some of my other workspaces by double tap open slash view and I'll say I'll open up my groups window and I'll open up my oh uh, my colors window and I'll open up my positions window and last but not least I'll open my gobos and beams window. So I'm going to resize these to uh, fit how I want this to work. There we go. We'll say I'm happy with that. I can then save that as a workspace either here or my workspaces window like I have here by just clicking on it and then naming it all if I wish or just go ahead and tap a second time and see that we now have a workspace 10 with our Windows computer like this. So if I went back to my, oh, so my workspace 8 here, see it went to this configuration, I go to 9, it goes to this one. If I reopen my workspaces window, and then click this one, I get them in this position with the camera as I stored it. I could also do with a, uh, say with this view, Say I wanted to have a different camera position saved to it, I can go ahead and make sure I have the capture window selected. And we can click on our position. We'll go ahead and change this one instead of being uh, the straight on view. We'll do our stage right angle. Eh, it's nice to do our stage left angle. And then we can save this as a workspace if we want. We can go ahead and we can click here. We can give it a name if we want to, or just click it a second time. And now if we go to this workspace, and then back to this one, we see we have our same. Uh, view there, or we can enable our quad view again, and we'll set this one to be here, and we'll hit exit once, and we'll set this one, and I said we wouldn't position our camera on this one. We could move our camera, and we'll just move, and we'll go ahead and move it how we want. Zoom in some here, and we'll go to our rotator or orbit I mean and we'll get it oh back to 
remove. And we'll say that's the position that we want. And then we'll click on our last one. And we'll hit exit once. And we'll go to our positions. And our positions, and we'll go ahead and set this one from our... Oh, we'll do the back one view on this one. And we'll hit exit once. And we can save that as a workspace also. So now if I change this workspace, I have this view. Change this one, I get this one. Change to here, I get the quad view and the, what I set up. This, of course, all does work on the Titan Go virtual interface. So I'll just reopen that one view real quick here. And we'll see if I go to my workspace 9, I have that one. My 12, I have that one. My 13, I still have that one. So that has been custom camera positions and the quad view in the internal capture visualizer. I hope you learned something. Please join us on Facebook at AYHUS. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.